were sharing a little bit about uh, machine learning and how Google is now using machine learning in most of, uh, if not all of our consumer products. And this morning we heard from uh, several of our uh, product experts from uh, Mountain View and they were sharing the latest in terms of uh, Google and machine learning as well as uh, the open sourcing of TensorFlow which as you know is a new uh, development platform for machine learning that we're sharing with the world and we want to encourage researchers as well as uh, uh, app developers to take advantage of the new platform. Well, machine learning, to, I mean, there's no easy way to describe it, but it's like a smaller branch, I think, of artificial intelligence and more specific to products, uh, especially consumer products. So a lot of the machine learning product, uh, like, uh, enhancements are already seen in uh, current Google products. Uh, for example, Google voice recognition in search is a little bit better because of that. Uh, Google Translate is a little bit better because of machine learning. Uh, Google Photos is, a lot of it has to do with machine learning in terms of how it categorizes people, places and things. Uh, and uh, in YouTube as well, when you get recommendations, a lot of it has to do with machine learning, learning about the content that you like and suggesting the stuff that you may like based on what you already like. What I wanted to probably focus on is that it's actually the new secret sauce for a lot of our products. Uh, you know, if you thought it was uncanny for your voice to be recognized like through the cloud, even though you're speaking in so probably like a Malaysian English accent, uh, that's a lot of that has to do with machine learning, learning all the patterns and nuances as to how speakers normally speak the language. So it's actually a lot of smaller, minor enhancements that result in more contextual awareness and just a generally better user experience. So it's not a major thing that revolutionizes like all of our products. It's more like small enhancements that just make it just a little bit better and you know keep those users coming back because the experience is so much more useful. So Google now, as you know, is contextually aware of your geographic location and the time of day and so on and so forth. So a lot of that can help machine learning suggest better things, right? So if it knows, for example, that you are traveling, it will suggest phrases, it will suggest the difference in time of day between your home uh, city as well as where you're traveling. And the most useful for me is like places of interest for me to visit, right? And like places of uh, Makan where, you know, I can probably find halal products, for example. Right? So those are like the little, little tweaks that make machine learning a little bit more useful. We just hope that more people use it, more people utilize it, researchers and and developers and like collectively we can just kind of move the usefulness of uh, information technology and generally smartphones uh, to like improve people's lives. That's really the whole point of us sharing it with all.